Yeah, absolutely. Fortunately, shortly after our way too close of an encounter with a real life gunfight, Trent and I shared a much tamer excursion. This one took us and his honky tonk tailgate tour mates, Mark Wills and Ray Scott, to the interior of Mexico. In the heart of Mexico's northern interior lies the state of Chihuahua's capital city, also named Chihuahua. You can tell there's a lot of history here. Um, you, you realize how young our country actually is when you see some of the old buildings. The people of Chihuahua are survivors who live on the edge of their past and the promise of progress. Armando Velezquez grew up in Chihuahua, a booming city with a population of more than one million people. It's a beautiful city, looks like uh, some kind of Nashville style. In 2005, Armando created the first country music festival in his home state. The idea to start the, the festival was because the Chihuahua has a, a lot of roots of country music here. And with the support of the government, the mayor, uh, three years ago we started to, to make this event. This is our three year in a row, uh, and always is a, all the, all the, tr the three years is a full success, you know. I'm just a crazy white boy, like my wild soul. The gang of American artists known as the Honky Tonk Tailgate Party, featuring Mark Wills, Trent Wilman, and Ray Scott, wanted to see firsthand what Armando has devoted his entire life to create. It's about experiences. I mean, you know, we've traveled the country for many years, and, uh, and yet never done anything like this. So for us to be able to come down here and hang out and have a great time and uh, enjoy the culture and, and just have a good time, you know, with our uh, with our Mexican brothers has, has, has been very cool. It really kind of surprised us all, I think, just seeing how much they get into the country and, and the bands, the country bands, you know, even though they're singing in Spanish. Uh, and some of them were singing in English, but they, they're really good. Chihuahua, specifically the, the city of Chihuahua, you know, it, there is a, a lot of culture of country music. You know, we have radio stations, we have TV programs, uh, and uh, we have a very, very good uh, performance. The city of Chihuahua has dreams of becoming an official sister city to Nashville, and they hope music will act as the bridge. It seems like they're really... Uh really emulating uh, what we do in the states. As we see uh, more Hispanics moving into the United States and, and the Hispanic population is growing, uh, and, and with the, you know, our runner up for Nashville Star this year was a Hispanic, I think we're going to see a lot more, we're going to see that door open. And I think that there will become a, a larger demand for country music and, you know, and with a with a Spanish flair. It's great to be sister cities because we, we can make uh, promote more artists from Nashville, from the U.S., and start to promote country music in Spanish for, for people, for Hispanic people who live in, in the U.S., you know. It's been a wonderful town, and, uh, and, and it's been something that I would definitely come back again, mm -hmm. uh, if for no other reason than the wonderful food and the wonderful friends that we've made in the past 24 hours. Amazing people, incredible food, and great music. I don't think Nashville could ask for a better international sister city than Chihuahua. Estaremos de vuelta después de este. When we come back on the set with Blake, Trace, Billy Ray, and Daryl Worley.